I admit it, sometimes I can be a little obsessive. Some might say eccentric. And one of the things I obsess about the most is our garden soil. Every fall for the past five or six years, I've collected leaves from all over the neighborhood and brought them to our yard, usually 30 to 40 bags a year. These leaves have played a big part in transforming what was once rock-hard dirt that could barely grow weeds into the soft, crumbly soil that now provides nutritious organic food for my wife and me. So far this year, I've collected 41 bags of leaves and wouldn't be surprised if I end up collecting 50. I've already added a few bags to our fall-winter compost pile and topped off this compost pile with a couple more bags. I also started yet another compost bin consisting of leaves, used coffee grounds, and spent brewery grains. So far I've added eight or nine bags to this bin and will add more as the pile cooks down. In this spot where we grew tomatoes but didn't plant a cover crop, I've piled a couple bags of leaves and some used coffee grounds. And I brought another bag into the basement to feed our European night crawlers and red wigglers. And still we have all of these bags left, but they'll be gone faster than you might think. As an experiment, I'm considering covering these three beds with leaves and used coffee grounds in December. We're currently growing a cover crop in these beds, but I'm curious to see if a heavy mulch of leaves will kill the crop and save me the trouble of chopping and dropping. Cover crops need to be in the ground at least two months to be effective, but by December, they'll be in the ground a full four months. So I'll try killing the crop with mulch in these beds, and in the remaining beds, I'll chop and drop the cover crop late this winter or early in the spring, and then mulch with leaves. Over the course of the winter, I'll likely feed at least a couple more bags to our composting worms. The quality of the castings is noticeably better when leaves are used instead of paper. And with so many leaves available, there's no reason to use shredded paper in the worm bins for the next several months. In the spring, the garden beds will be crawling with worms, and they'll be eating the mulch almost as fast as I can put it down. So I'll make sure to save a number of bags to add to the mulch in the spring. I'll also empty finished compost from the compost bins in the spring and start building new piles using leaves as one of the brown ingredients. Not only the leaves, but also the bags themselves will be added to the compost piles. So even though I've collected 41 bags of leaves so far, don't be surprised if sometime in May or June next year, I'm talking about how the worms are eating the leaves so fast that my supply is running low and I need to go to the municipal wood chip pile to pick up wood chips in order to have enough mulch for the garden. If you missed my prior video that covers in more detail how and why we use autumn leaves in our garden, there's a link at the end of this video and in the description below. Well that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching and until next time remember you can change the world one yard at a time.